the discussion in this video is on changing data type of a column. Every now and then we, we have come across scenarios where we have to modify the data type of a column in a table. To do this Oracle has given a very simple syntax. It's called as alter table table name, modify column, column name and the new data type. But this is allowed when we are just changing the data type in a table where there is no data, in a column which doesn't contain any data then you can use this alter table statement to change the data type. But what if the column contains data? In that case, if you are increasing the precision of the column, like if there is, if the column is currently as number 10 and you are making it number 20, it is allowed. But if you are decreasing the precision, it is not allowed. Even when you are changing the data types from one form to another, such as from number to k 2 or k 2 to date or something, then this would not be allowed. So how to tackle those cases? <clears throat> These are the simple few steps that I'll just now demonstrate to you through which we can simply change the data type of a table. I'll show you two, uh, two ways to do this. So let's begin. Over here I have a simple table called as test1 where I have two columns id number with the precision 10 and name where get 2 with a size of 100. So I'll just create this table. Now as we can see there's no data in this table. So when there is no data in this table, as we stated before, we can just simply write alter table test one modify. What are we want, want to modify over here? Say suppose let me make ID 220, modify ID number 20. When we do this, the table is altered. Now let's see the description of the table. <coughs> As you can see, the ID is changed from 10 to 20, so it is allowed. Even if I want to make it from 20 to again 10, if there is no data in the table, it allows. There is no problem. Again, the ID is back 10. So from 10, I made it 20, I change it back to 10. Let me put some data in this table. <coughs> Let me put insert into test1 values. And let's put a simple data let's say one sql and just insert it let me come at this so now when we see the table there's one record in the table id name id is one name is sql and as we see the precision allowed is still 10 but i will just use one number now say suppose now if i want to decrease the precision of this table <coughs> Let me do like alter table. I'll just copy the whole statement. Let me change and modify the size of this column to say 5. The data what inside is is just holding one, one space. I'm decreasing it from current 10 to 5. Let's see if it allows it. It won't allow. It says ORS 01400 column to be modified must be empty to decrease the precision or the scale. So let's try and increase it <clears throat> from 10 let me make it 20 from 10 when I make it 20 it allows so if there is data in the table all you can do is increase the increase the size you cannot decrease it even when you know your data is not uh, holding full size but still you can't decrease it all you can do is increase so to handle situation like this I'll just show you two ways to do it I'll just first of all show you a table called as EMP. <coughs> this is a simple table. It has ID as number, first name as vacate 2 last name vacate 2 department ID number. Now suddenly I want and this table contains data. So let's start from EMP. <coughs> now what I want to do is I want to alter the EMP ID column from number to vacate 2 over here as we can see it is number i want to change it to vacate 2 and this table contains data so as you know this statement alter table table name modify emp id to say vacate 2 let's say 30 will not be allowed because you cannot change the data type it must be empty to do it so a simple uh, way to do the solve this would be just add one more column to your table like alter table emp add 
let me say emp2 i'm just adding you know employee id2 i'm just adding a new column employee id2 and i'll, I'll give it the data type that i want this table i want this my emp id column to be i want it by k232 so i'll just add a new column <coughs> so now when i see this table i'll have a new column called as emp id2 even when i see the description I have added a new column EMP ID to where get to 30. Now I will take all the data from this EMP ID column and dump it into EMP ID 2. So update EMP set EMP ID 2 is equal to EMP ID. So I just took all the data from the employee ID column over here and over this and pasted here. In EMP ID to my new column with bracket 230. Now <coughs> I'll just update the original EMP ID column to null. I made it null now. So what happened is I have EMP ID and I have EMP ID 2. This is null and it contains data. So now this column is null. I can just alter the data type. I can do it. Alter table EMP modify emp id emp id to where get to 30 so now when i check the description of this table i have successfully changed my emp id column from number to where get to so now I all, I all that i need to do is i need to update the data from emp id 2 back to emp id I'll just show you that statement. Here we have EMP ID, here we have EMP ID 2. So I'll just copy this data from EMP ID 2 back to EMP ID. Update EMP set EMP ID is equal to EMP ID 2, the new column. Now can we check this table? Select star from EMP. I have all the data in this table. Even when I see the description of EMP, I have the data type as where care to 30. So I have successfully changed my data type from number to where care to 30, which is what I wanted to do. So now I can drop this table. I got drop this column. I don't need it. <coughs> I can do drop oh no, alter table EMP drop column EMP ID 2. Is on the screen. So the table is dropped. Uh, sorry, the column is dropped. Now, as we can see, I have my table as it was before, and I have successfully changed the data type from EMP ID to where to from number to where to 30 for EMP ID column, and all the data is there intact. So this is one of the way through which you can change the data type of the column even when the table contains data. There's a simple one more other way. Let me show it. Let me change this back to, you know, where, uh, from where care 2 to number. All I'll do is I'll create a table. I'll call it. Let me see if I have a table called as EMP2. I don't have it, so I'll, I'll just create a table. I'll do create table EMP2 as select star from emp where 1 equals 2 by doing this what will happen is a new table will be created called as emp2 this is the create table as statement over here i'll be creating a new table called as emp2 which will have the same structure of emp no constraint would be copied except of not null constraint and i'm taking a where clause of 1 equals 2 so 1 equals 2 is always false so when I execute this just select statement, see I get the structure of the table but no data. If I put something like, if I don't put a where clause over here, then this would create a table with data, all this data. But I don't want the data, I just want the structure. So I'll make it to where 1 equals to 2. And when I do this, I get a table called as EMP2. This EMP2 table is same in structure as my previous employee table. See employee employee 2 you can just extend it the structure is same 
packet to packet to EMP ID EMP ID. So now I have just created a new table, a copy table of this thing. Now what I'll do is I'll alter the new table and make the EMP ID column as number modify EMP ID in the new table as number. I'll just make it number. I made it number. I will now copy all the data. Now I will copy the data of EMP to EMP2. So it can be done as insert into EMP2 and select store from employees. It just inserted all the 15 records from the target table EMP to the so uh, no from the source table EMP to the target table EMP2. So now when I do it I can select stuff from EMP2 I have all the data. And now as I showed before the EMP ID column is where I to let's see the description. Yeah, so uh, the EMP ID column I have just altered it from where 2 to number. So now I have the uh, the data type changed to number whereas in our old EMP table the data type is table where cat 2. So in the new table that I've created we have changed the data type successfully and we have imported the data also. I give back number. So now I don't need this EMP table, I can just do a drop table EMP. But our, our, our target is not to have a new table called as employee 2 but to have the same table EMP with the new employee ID uh, with the new data type in the employee ID column so all we need to do is just rename the table rename the table EMP2 to EMP all your procedures function would be fine um, it says invalid table name oh there's no table force required here just a rename emp2 to emp <clears throat> this is the rename statement so now when i check select stuff from emp i have all the data and when i do a description of emp i'll have number instead of like a two so this is the other approach where you just create a table with no records but the table is has the same structure as our you know the source table then we alter the data type of the required column in the new table which node which which doesn't contain any data then we copy the data then we drop our source table and then we rename our uh, new table to you know the previous table like i renamed my new table i created the new table as emp2 so now i'm renaming emp2 back to the original name of emp so these are the two approaches through which you can change the data types of the column even when you have data in them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do let me know your comments in the comment sections below. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.